Good morning. It's the Call Flow Radio Show, and you're on the air. And it is that time, the Call Flow Radio Show here on WFLO AM 870. We're streaming online at WFLO.net and broadcasting live from the Francis E. Wood Studio in downtown Farmville. I'm John Staten. To my immediate left is Noel Massage. Mm -hmm. And we are taking your phone calls. Give us a call. Number is 434-394-0924. And what, pray tell, should we talk about? Well, John, there's a lot of stuff to get into that happened um, over this weekend, over mm. this past week. Uh, where, do you, where do you want to start, John? From the beginning. Okay. <laughs> so in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Well, um, yeah. Well, uh, well, let's talk about, um, you know, the whole uh, uh, attempted ass- – well, well, we got a call. Somebody I, else, I, I just some, said attempt- I Somebody said one beat word. you to the punch. I know. All right. I know. Good morning. You're on the air. John, no one's out of the morning. Good morning, Barry. How y'all doing? All right. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Getting ready for a hot Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it looks like, doesn't it? Definitely. Yep. But some rain is in the forecast. We had some rain last week. We had about two and a half inches here in the Transmere area at our home uh, between uh, Friday and Saturday. And it, uh, of course, a lot of it ran off, but, uh, of course, it had to go somewhere. But we hope we get some steady rain this week. Hope so. It looks like it. Anyway. Hopefully we'll get some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all having a good day? Yeah, hey, it just started for some of us. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. far so good. How about you? Oh, yeah, starting out start uh, start a good Monday. And hopefully it's hopefully going to be a good week. I tell you, a lot of sadness in our country, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, we certainly we need, we, see, we certainly need to pray for America because uh, I tell you, in the day and time we're living, uh, it, it's really sad. We need to just pray hard for our country that God will take care of us, and I know it will because you know we serve a great God. Have you all heard anything about an Amish accident in the area? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, and that just chalks up to me not being aware. Had had you heard something? Yes, I got a phone call last night on 45 uh, here in, I guess, Cumberland. is I, I don't know. Uh, it's Randolph Road in Cumberland. I guess it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Randolph. Yeah, it was an Amish accident in Cumberland last night, so the report I got. Mm. And there was, uh, 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 from what I understand, there was a fatality of a baby. Mm. And I'm certainly sorry to hear that. I wish yeah. I very best to the Amish family. If anybody knows any more details about it or got information on it, uh, I certainly would like to know because that's really sad that someone has lost a little child. Of course, it's sad when you lose anybody, but True. especially a little baby. Mm-hmm. So if anybody knows anything about the Amish accident on 45 last night, about 7, 8 o'clock, mm. please call and you know give us some details uh, and, and, and make it more official. All right, well... Hopefully somebody will if they know anything about it. I hope so. And y'all take care, gentlemen. Have a good day and a good week. God bless y'all and God bless America. Thank you, Barry. You too. Bye-bye. So long. Yep. Wow. Yeah. No, I hadn't heard about this accident. No, no. He's referring well, to. Doesn't mean. Sound like it just happened. Happen. Yeah, yeah. Like well, last night. Last I night. Said. Eight o'clock. Seven. So if anyone out there knows anything about it, uh, actual information, then mm-hmm. feel free to call up and let us know. I had a little, in, not an incident, but it, uh, accident. I had to turn around. A tree was down on plank when I was coming in. Um, I got uh, right about where the farmland really starts to open up. And I had to turn around and just come on back and take 15 all the way. Ah, that's here, that's lame. Yeah, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I assume I assume now that tree has now been <laughs> cut Fixed down. And cleaned yeah. Up. yeah, but I, I couldn't go. Uh, it, it, had it not been for the branches on it, I may have been able to get under it. But I I wasn't <clears> going to attempt all that. Oh come on, John! Another we need another episode of John in the Wild. You I know. did that the one time. It was a tree close, it. closer to home that had fallen over. And it was just high enough I could get my vehicle up under it. Not true, up under it. You know those big tractors with the – I mean, they're, like, huge and, like, very tall wheels. And mm-hmm. it almost, like, you can almost drive underneath one. Right. I've always wanted to do that uh, so bad. Hopefully one day I'll be able to do that when I pick up stunt driving for mm-hmm. a little bit. Well, Barry sort of 
alluded to. Yeah, well, let's get, let's just get into the assassination attempt, John. Let's just dig into it. So you believe it. that's what it was? Because some people don't. Well, I, I did want to bring that up, too, because, well, you know, with anything, there's going to be a theory. Like, no matter what big news happens, like, uh, if it's a big story, Better people yet, are going to be. how did you be... first hear about it? I first, I, I heard uh, way after the fact. I heard, like, a day or two later. Oh, wow. And I know, I know, crazy. I, I stay out of the papers. I just want I just want uh, Well, peace. papers wouldn't have shown you right away, yeah. but uh, I found out about it. Uh, I was, this would have uh, been sometime that evening. What, I think it actually occurred sometime in the 6 o'clock hour, 6.40-ish, mm-hmm. something, maybe. And uh, I had the TV on. But I wasn't watching actual television. It was something I had been watching, my, you know, separate from news or anything like that. But I also had my computer on, and I had YouTube up, which I normally do because I uh, watch that a lot too. And uh, the, the part off to the right that always gives you suggestions mm-hmm. of what to watch, I had seen where there was going to be a rally for Trump, and somebody was broadcasting that, posting it. And uh, I didn't click on it. Uh, or, but then I noticed as I looked away from my TV at one point, I look yep. over at the computer and I see one that's headed president shot. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? And so I click on it. And sure enough, yeah. I'm seeing this footage of him grabbing ducking. at his ear and then, yep. and then ducking. And, and, and it just is like, you know, when I saw that, I was like, okay, this is legit. Mm-hmm. And, um, just uh yeah and as of course you what by then i went ahead and pulled up an actual news feed on tv Mm -hmm. and kind of went back and forth and uh listening and watching and uh because eventually that uh feed of who was posting the uh rally that went off so i went ahead and just had the news on and uh yeah it's um it's it's amazing how the news will give you anxiety, like listening to it enough, you know? Well, the problem with news feeds is if they don't have but so much information, yep. they're going to keep saying the same stuff over and over again. Just and to also fill just time. making up new things and like, you know. Well, I, get, I don't just know. Just making I up facts. I well, or, well, like I said, if you don't have that much information, you have to fill for time. Mm-hmm. And so they'll just keep repeating the same stories over and over again. Um, you know, it's interesting. I Well, I, I found out um, the day after, uh, and a friend of mine told me, Travis, I think you may know him, mm-hmm. John. Yes. Um, but he told me. Well, I know me, of him. Yeah. And he told me that the president, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, not ex president. What's the other term? Uh, former, former president. There you go. Um, he was shot at a rally in Pennsylvania, and then that's kind of like when I started doing like a little deep dive into it. And yeah, that's like a very, um, it, that's a very insane thing. You know, you think you would think, um, you know, we're not going to have to deal with any more like attempted assassinations. But I mean, it's not nothing new. You know, Robert Kennedy was shot well, and killed. The interesting thing is the last time this has been tried was Reagan. Reagan? In yeah. 81, mm-hmm. I believe. And um, attempted? Attempted because obviously yeah. he didn't. He, he shot. He was shot, but he, he mm-hmm. didn't, you know, obviously die from it because this would have been early in his presidency. I always what I always wonder like what other like um, dictators uh, in the world think or not even dictators just like other people in other countries like you know higher ups being like oh they almost got him <laughs> like, you know uh, well yeah well I mean I, some of them probably look at us and go I'm not surprised yeah yeah or thought maybe um, I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner mm-hmm. so of course when they first. I don't remember now because I was going back and forth between television and YouTube. I don't remember where I first saw a picture of the supposed shooter, but it that one was way off the first person. And of course, they abru- abruptly changed that and turned out to be this young guy that tw- was 20, 20 years old, Thomas Matthew Cooks. Always three names. Lee Harvey Oswald. Wow. And a bunch of other ones. <laughs> people that aren't Who's the guy there. who shot um, Lincoln also? That guy. John Wilkes Booth. There you go. Three names, John. A thespian, by the way. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> not Because that, well, that's why he knew where uh, Lincoln would be. And when he shot him, he, you know, jumps out of uh, the balcony and, and lands on stage. And awkwardly, because I think he, 
either broke his something or sprained it or ankle or something, did something. But he, he took the time to actually say a line from a play or something before he took off. Mm. But any, or so, he said something, death to tyrants, I don't know, something like that. But anyway, but yeah, um, and so, of course, the news wants to jump on the fact that, uh, you know, he's a registered Republican and all this other stuff. But if you keep reading information on him, he also donated money to Act Blue, which is a Democrat uh, fundraising, you know, program of some kind. So, I mean, you know, and people that register a certain way, a lot of times that's just to get into a primary that isn't open so you can vote for the lesser of the you know who's running for that you know whatever it's like he could have did that to vote for nikki haley Mm -hmm. or something like that you know Mm. that sort of stuff happens all the time so the fact that he's a registered republican didn't make me go (gasps) because why would a registered republican want to Anyway, you know, no, I, I think I think some Republicans have problems with Trump. I mean, and not to some, that degree, I wouldn't think. Well, that's that's just somebody who's crazy. I think. Well, well, that's the well, that, yeah. That's the other thing. Most people that uh, do these types of things, they're mm-hmm. not not yeah yeah. yeah they, something's not connecting there. You yeah. Know? But anyway, but yeah, and now of course they wonder, well, you know, how did how was he able to be so close? He was about a football field distance mm. away, and then there was the reports of people that had seen the guy climbing the building reported this to police and nothing seemed to be done. But then I heard this crazy report where a policeman did try to go climb up. And, and when he got to the top, the kid turned his gun on him and uh, he went uh, back uh, down. And then after that decided to go ahead and do what he did. Mm-hmm. It's all speculation. Cause I don't know, you know, yeah. it, but you hear all this stuff or depending on your sources. So it's always, it's best to get everything and wait and put it all together before you start, you know. Yeah, it's a pretty fresh story, and it's not its not even that far away from, like, the actual election. Uh, it's coming up in November, like, you know. And, of course, the RNC is st- still going to have their event in Milwaukee tonight, regardless. And uh, it's a four-day event. And uh, so they're going to keep doing that. And speaking of Nikki Haley, I think she was the – last minute attraction to be also there to uh, speak at this event mm-hmm. so i guess they're trying to be unified in the you know, republican party is representing but yeah so yeah you were talking i was talking about reagan mm-hmm. that was 81 <clears throat> and um was it really the last um attempted assassination where someone was shot yeah okay yeah i mean they've supposedly stopped people that may have been trying mm-hmm. Or may have had something on them and all this stuff. But as far as, like, someone physically, you know, injured from a shot. Pressing the trigger. Yeah. 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 And that's a long time ago. 81? Yeah. I mean, that's... I might have been six. Five, six, something like that. So, yeah. That's, a little bit... That's, like, a little bit uh, over 40 years, something like that. Yeah. yeah it's, it's crazy. It's, and the fact that it's been that long... And that it mm-hmm. happened way back then in the 80s when people think the 80s, you know, things were really good in the 80s for those that lived in the 80s. Um, but you would think by now something would have been tried, you know, just the way, th- you know, the, the way the political, mm-hmm. you know, field has gotten. Because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. of course, now you have people like <clears throat> Biden saying we need to tone, it, tone down the rhetoric and all that. And I'm like, I mean, Okay, practice what you preach. Don't yeah. tell us to do it, and you're not doing it. You know, so of course they pulled their ads here recently f- of whatever they were promoting against Trump and all this sort of stuff. And uh, they s- supposedly get talked. They didn't actually get together, but they mm-hmm. talked over the phone supposedly. So, I mean, we can try and you know put it all together as why this kid did it and all this oh, other yeah. stuff. But it's crazy, crazy I mean, kid. Yeah. The interesting thing will be to see if, you know, Trump does get elected, um, and this is a lot of if, if, you know, but um, if Trump gets elected, do you think after the this attempted assassination, he might um, uh, kind of reopen the discussion of, like, um, gun control? I'm not saying, like, it's just, like, 
gun control all around, but like maybe I don't know, put some tighter regulations on who can buy a gun. Do you think that might be something you would look into if he gets elected? You know, after great this, rules, but it wouldn't have prevented this because you know, guess where the kid got the gun from? I'm assuming his dad. Yeah, yeah, you know. who had the all the right stuff to get mm-hmm. the gun and blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah. There's no law that could prevent that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a tough one for sure. I mean, people that are w- willing to do wicked things are going to not let rules get in the way of pulling off what they want to pull off i think i think Hence the bad yeah. guy thing i think the dad is at that point equally responsible for not and i'm not arguing that or or not i'm just, yeah. I'm just but i am saying you know if that's rules and regulations don't stop people yeah. from doing bad things mm-hmm. it they just don't well i i think it i think it stops a lot like a lot more than if there were no it stops some but i'm just but, saying um, you yeah, al- exactly. you can always bet on someone is yeah, going yeah. to do something regardless of what the rules that are. is true john the, yeah, there's is... no getting around it yeah and so pretending like whoa if we had more <clears throat> and the problem is we have rules for a lot of things that for some odd reason we don't enforce them and and then you wonder why well these things don't work well if you don't enforce them they might not work yeah yeah you know, you got to look at it. I don't know. I always look at it. Every as, as, you got to look at it at all, every angle. Yeah, not just one side. Yeah. Just all the way around. Every way, every way possible. It, I agree. Yeah. You know, because I mean, could, wouldn't would it be nice to say, well, you shouldn't do this, and then people just don't do it? Yeah, but let's. Be, That's impossible. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's look, impossible. It is. Yeah. But anyway, so. Um, yeah, so that was the big uh, thing. Pennsylvania, that out of all places, too. I thought that was kind of crazy. I feel like Pennsylvania is a very like you know, um, like coal miners, right? Like used to live there. I don't know. It was just like a very tough kind of place. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it would that would be more believable in like Portland <laughs> or like somewhere out there in like Oregon. Oregon area. I, I guess it's just one of those things. It doesn't really matter where it's at. The, the, you know, we have wonderful people of all kinds in every little place. It, it, you know, it, 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 uh, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, it's just it's like, man, you don't, you just don't know about people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And regardless of where they're from or or whatever. And I mean, twenty. I mean. That's awful young. I mean, How, I think Leo Harvey Oswald was around the same age, though. Who killed? Was he that? He young? was. He was very young. Yeah, I can. I can fact check. Yeah, that you might want to fact check that. I don't really. He look. He doesn't look as young, or I don't remember his pictures looking as young as this kid. Of course, they are using. He was twenty four, which 24, is twenty four, just a few years yeah. older. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, it's interesting, but people like back in the day looked older true. at a younger age, which That's is true. very strange. I don't know if it's like the way they dressed or if it's just like, hey, we're healthier than times were harder. Back yeah, then. times were. <laughs> you'd age like in, you know, you'd age dr- fast, drastic. Of course, you have the yeah. uh, two opposite ends yes. of the spectrum, where some people are thinking that the FBI did an, a tremendous job, and then you got the other. It was like the, the FBI did this, or, or well, <laughs> well the, was that, but, or that, or they just didn't do a very good job. Yeah, yeah. because like, well, the the know. funny thing is, like, I watched the video and okay, so he gets shot. Yeah, and like the people behind him aren't moving. Everybody, well, and I get, I get that, like the delayed reaction. Don't, don't, don't no, get me no, wrong. I do no, understand. No, no. Well, I was gonna say yep. first of all, they're like think of a ball game where you're like in these rafters, mm-hmm. which is what they were. There's only one out, out mm-hmm. uh, exit. That mm-hmm. there's a. I think it was like off to the. It would be if you were watching t- to the left, but they're, they're right. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only way you could have gotten out, and I guess they didn't want. Trample nobody each other. ducked. Nobody like uh, tried crawling. No, they I, ducked. I, I, like I, some like, of them did duck. I'm, I'm assuming some did, but like a lot of them, like for like like a minute. I saw the after, footage enough to know. Yeah, like for a minute after though, like he was shot. Like Trump ducked well, down, but like everybody else was just like it's easy to you know, you know just kind of like armchair watch quarterback something like that. But yeah, if, if that course, was you, yeah, yeah. nobody expects to be sh- shot at mm-hmm. in the middle of some event. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's not something that's normal. It's mm-hmm. not something that's an everyday occurrence, maybe in Chicago. But and so it's just uh, 
you know, I can't get in the minds of those people as to well, why did yeah, yeah. you do I'm not, this? I'm not saying I'm not saying that they did something oh, wrong. Not, it was just I'm like not, I, it was just like a just funny thing, um, like looking at the footage, being like, "You guys aren't ser- seriously. You're just going to stand there. Like, what's were, going on?" I think they were in total <laughs> shock. Yeah, yeah. I think that happens. I but think then that you have somebody sure. like the guy that was in the crowd that was a uh, actual. Uh, uh, I don't know if he was a doctor per se, but mm. he had some sort of medical background, and he. Help the guy that got actually shot in the head mm. that died. Yeah. Because he jumped over top of his family to cover them so that they wouldn't get shot. And uh, you got people like that in the crowd that are just like, you know, doing, you know, they don't Ready. panic. They at, don't. They, at a drop of the hat. You yeah. Know. They pick the guy up and try to, you know, <clears throat> he tried to give him CPR and all this other stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. you got people like that in the crowd and it's just like, think. Thank the Lord that people like that exist because yeah. I would like to say I'm one of those types of people, but I'm not. I'd probably be frozen just like anybody else. And, uh, yeah, so and it, they actually had him interviewed a couple of times. One, one, one at the event where you could see the blood on his shirt. Yeah, that's from, crazy. And, uh, and then he was interviewed like the next day along with his wife, I believe, or something. And it just, uh, yeah, so when I hear the stuff about you know, these, these wonderful people that are suggesting that it was not an actual thing. And, I mean, they were reporting at one point, the, the, some news outlet reported that Trump had fallen. Mm. And then there was this bit about, oh, it was shards of glass and all this other mm-hmm. wonderful. It's like, um, maybe, maybe you ought to wait until you get some yeah. information before you start spouting oh, off. Oh, they're the trying to—they're trying to make the ju- like the most like mm, in, enticing story. That's just like that's just journalist, I guess, for you. Which but, is yeah. great. It's a great business. I mean, like it takes a takes a certain skill though to really do that kind of stuff. But the, you know, the thing about the the anti yep. the other snipers, yes, the ones that yes. took him out, mm-hmm. you know, from the actual first shot of being of what you could see i never saw those guys Mm. they were all sort of off to the left of if you were looking at the screen on your tv they were off to the left on a higher position it wasn't until they hit a different angle at some point when i was watching the news that i could see them i was like oh okay they were there you know because i heard you know reports just after it happened that they had gotten the guy gotten meaning (laughs) And um, I was like, oh, so they got him. And they, I was thinking maybe they spotted him and somebody went after him. No, there was actual snipers. That makes me wonder, you know, the whole thing of if they were looking through the scopes and looking at any close by buildings, which this one would have been one of the closer buildings, mm-hmm. how they didn't notice him. Yeah. And that leads to all the speculation that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, you're, you know, but it's real easy to just, play armchair quarterback and go, you know, well, you know, why didn't they do this? What? And even well, I, I love armchair quarterback. That's one of my favorite pastimes. Uh, well, it's what we do after these events. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, I mean, it's all you can do. I mean, whether it's nine 11 or yeah. whether it's the challenger exploding and all those other stuff. And, you know, but, you can't go back in time and reverse these things. No, and so, so you, you, so you just try to must, rethink it all. Exactly, and, exactly. Yeah. I think it's a healthy way. But hey, look at the time. It's 8.30. Good. I, we talked ourselves to the goodness bottom gracious, of the hour. John. Great balls of fire. Goodness gracious. Wow. Great balls of fire. You yeah. got it. All right, so we're going to do the weather first, obviously. And then we'll have your birthday anniversaries for today. So let's do that. This edition of the weather brought to you by the Bank of Charlotte County. Hello, I'm Stuart Wilborn, manager of the Bank of Charlotte County Loan Office in downtown Farmville. With over 30 years of banking experience, I'm here to help you finance your commercial, agricultural, or personal project. Give us a call at 391-1136 or stop by our downtown office at 216 North Main Street, where you'll find old school personal assistance with attention to detail. The Bank of Charlotte County, giving you more for your banking needs. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. And for today, mostly sunny and hot with a high today near 98. Heat index values as high as 102. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 72. Tuesday, 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise sunny and hot with a high near 99. Heat index values as high as 106. So it sounds like a scorcher tomorrow. Mostly clear Tuesday night with a low around 74. Wednesday, 60% chance of showers and 
Thunderstorms, a high near 95. And Wednesday night, a 60% chance of showers. And thunderstorms, they low around 71. Humidity, 87%. Winds calm. Barometer, 30.01. Mostly cloudy skies. Right now, 76. The Bank of Charlotte County with branch locations in Phoenix, Charlotte Courthouse, Brook Neal, and their loan office in downtown Farmville. The birthday calendar is brought to you by Terry Atkins Wilson, P.C. The law office of Terry Atkins Wilson, P.C. is located at 117 North Main Street in downtown Farmville. With deep roots in Farmville and our surrounding communities, Terry and her legal staff specialize in real estate law, wills and trusts, business formations and collections. Experience and professionalism are extended to every customer in every case. The needs and concerns of every customer are their primary focus. If you have legal needs, contact the law office of Terry Atkins Wilson, P.C. For a consultation at 434 392 1422. And with those birthdays, possible anniversaries, I present to you Noah Massage. Take oh, it away. Thank you, John. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Very nice, John. All right. July 15th is the day, and uh, we're going to get into the birthdays and anniversaries, uh, starting off with Lauren. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Brie Etan Bach. Well, actually, no, I can't I can't even say that. John, how would you say this name? It's B R E. Let me look at it. Okay, first one, and I'll I'll read this one. Okay, we got another one. John's fact checking. That's the first one on top. Brighton Bach. Brighton Bach. That's what I would say. Okay. Brighton Bach. Okay. All right. Lauren Bright Brighton Bach. Yeah. Wow, that's a great name. And uh, the one anniversary is Ron and Sandra Hall, John. Very anniversary. Nice. Anniversary. All and right. We have one more now, birthday. I think we have two more. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So the first one <laughs> is Ella Mae Dunn of Farmville. And the last one is Janet South Hall mm-hmm. of Farmville. Both birthdays are to all those birthdays and anniversaries. The only reason I knew those because I, I had to you write it down. You scribbled it down. I, I knew did. you did, John. Yeah, I knew you I did. Had to. Those are the birthdays. Those are the anniversaries, guys. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Buy yourself a cake, or just go out and uh, just go exploring. You know, just enjoy this. Uh, well, I don't want to say enjoy this weather. It's kind of hot out. But, um, and tell them Noah sent you. Exactly. <laughs> you get a discount. I, yeah, I don't believe 20% that. off. Yeah. <laughs> Noah sent you. Noah who? <laughs> For the right legal advice, visit Terry Atkins Wilson, PC, Main Street, Farmville. If you'd like to add... Any names or anniversaries for today, anybody we missed, yeah. give us a call, 434-394-0924. Or if you just want to chit-chat, use the same number, and we'll talk about that. So you did local celebrity birthdays. I'm going to do the other celebrity birthdays. Okay. Singer Linda Ronstadt turned 78. Okay. Okay. Originally from Tucson, Arizona. That's, that's interesting. And that's your... Fun fact. That's a fun fact. Okay. Actor Forrest Whitaker. You know who that Mm -hmm. is? I turned 63. Fun fact. I don't know how fun this is, but his middle name is Steven. Mm. Forrest Whitaker has been around for so long. I remember seeing (laughs) him in, I I think the first film that I really took notice of him would have been Good Morning Vietnam, the movie he made, of course, with Robin Williams. And he plays the uh, private or whatever his military rank is. And uh, he's the one that picks up Robin Williams, Adrian Cronauer's character at the very beginning at the plane. And uh, he's the one that's very impressionable of Robin Williams' character. He he really takes to him, and they end up being good friends Mm -hmm. and and everything. And... um, But then he was in other movies, too. I mean, he was in something like that, and then he would be in a, a... John Claude Van Damme film. I want to say he was in Bloodsport. I think so. Yeah, and, I think that's where I know him from. And and technically, maybe that was the first thing I saw him. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what year I saw Bloodsport, but um, yeah. So anyway, but a good actor, and he's done a lot of films. Uh, been in a lot of stuff. He was even in. Uh, he had a bit role in the movie, uh, the one with Paul Newman and Tom Cruise. I can't remember the name of it. Paul Newman. Where they played pool. Oh, the uh, not the hustler. 
It's the sequel to The Hustle. Um, uh, the Color of Money. Thank you. Yeah. That's a good film, too. Mm-hmm. But he has a bit part where when uh, Paul Newman's character decides to try to get back into playing, he hustle, his character hustles Paul Newman. And that's what makes Newman get even more serious about getting back and trying to be a better pool player. Anyway, Fast Eddie Felson, I think, is his character's name. Comedian Eddie Griffin turns 56. And fun fact for him, voiced a cartoon version of Undercover Brother for a short-lived animated series. Very short-lived, because I don't know what that is. Actor Scott Foley turns 52. The face is familiar, but I can't say what I've ever actually seen him in. But uh, fun fact, first TV show he directed was an episode of Felicity. He almost looks like he could be in Lost, like that TV series. Scott Foley? Yeah. Yeah, and I, is he ju- is he he's probably an actor as well, I would assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's his, it's his actor. But the fun fact had him directing. All right, so now we've got actor Brian Austin Green who turns 51 and of course if you used to watch back in the 90s uh what was that 90210 mm-hmm. that and I just found out yesterday from my sister cuz she was a big fan of that stuff when that was brand new. Uh, that uh, the girl that played Brenda on that show, uh, Doherty, Shannon Doherty, had just recently passed mm. uh, from cancer. So we lost a couple of people over the weekend. We lost um, Richard Simmons. That, that was surprising. W- well, we, yeah. he just had a birthday Friday, I yeah. think we announced, and he, uh, he just turned 76. And so we lost him, and then we lost Shannon Doherty, and I don't know if it was Oh, Shelley Duvall also. Shelly Duvall You're right. Died. You're right. You're right. I forgot about Shelly Duvall. Yeah. And uh, so, it, yeah, we've lost a couple of people now. Anyway, Brian Austin Green turns 51. Here's your fun fact. Youngest main cast member on Beverly Hills 90210, beating Tori Spelling by almost two months. I guess the greatest thing he ever achieved at one point, he was with Megan Fox. Mm-hmm. A good achievement. There. That was, yeah. Yeah. Okay, actress <clears throat> Diane Kruger turns 48. She looks familiar, but she looks like another actress. I, uh, she, she almost looks like Jennifer Lawrence a little bit. Just I, like was, a I was thinking of somebody else, um, but I can't place the name. But anyway, let's see what her fun fact is. Transitioned from ballet to modeling after an injury ended her career. Now, ballet is tough on the feet and the legs and all everything. That yeah. Uh, the whole body is strained and stressed. Makes you wonder why people even do it. <laughs> but anyway. No, it's something nobody enjoys. And you know, people buy tickets and go watch it. It's it's kind of like, um, it's kind of crazy. It is. It's like going to see tap dancing. And what's that like? I don't know. I've oh, never done I, it. I, you struck me as the type that maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy tap. I, I, do, I give them a little applause and like, you know, a little applause here. Now, John, but it's like the same genre of like things that most people don't. En- I don't say most, but like n- I don't enjoy. I find it hard for any you know anybody I know to enjoy it either. So, anyways, John. okay, tippy tap. All right, so Actra, he, he's, he's actually doing the jig. Right yeah, now. I actually, I, I'm a very good. I've been doing it for about five years now. You know? Actor Patrick Wayne <laughs> is 85. That would be. The Duke's son, mm-hmm. John, okay. John Wayne, uh, met Patrick Wayne a couple of times. Uh, interesting guy. The uh, thing I had mentioned to him, because I figured I'd get a response out of him, he was in the first Young Guns film, mm. the one with the Brat Pack, if you want to call him that, Emilio Estevez, Charlie Sheen, Lou Diamond Phillips, all those guys. He only had a bit role, but his role was Pat Garrett, and he shows up a couple of times in the movie. And one time he's actually there to warn Billy, supposedly, but it's really a setup if you watch the film. But uh, he actually, uh, at one point, Billy turns his back to him, and the way the camera is shot, he's sort of out of focus, Pat Garrett, because he's behind him. But you can tell enough that he's reaching for his gun, or at least it looks like he is, and then he uh, just decides not to bother. Mm. And then he walks away. Now, I asked him about this. I said something to him. Well, I asked him f- for two two things. I brought it up, and he goes, yeah, I should have shot the little, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing I thought was interesting, when they made Young Guns 2, 
they recast the the character of Pat Garrett. Hmm. And I asked him about that. Uh, I don't think he knows exactly why. My my guess is the fact that Young Guns Two uh, had a couple of uh, of the leftovers that were still survived from the first movie. And I guess because the title was Young Guns and all this sort of stuff, they wanted to go that route where uh, I don't know how much history you know about Billy the Kid, but uh, it's all mythology now to the point that, you know, there's speculation. Was Pat and Billy friends? Mm. Were they on good terms originally? And then they the thing they divided be- over the fact that he became a police officer or, you know, sheriff or whatever. But uh, so that's where the Young Guns 2 storyline went, where Mm. they were actually friends, where the first one, it's way more questionable whether they were friends or not, which is probably how it really was. Yeah. I doubt they were probably aware of each other. They probably knew who each other were. But outside of that, I don't think they really probably had a connection. But it makes for better filmmaking, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so with all that being said, I think they casted a younger actor. For that, yeah, to, because like I said, Wayne's eighty-five now. He would have been much older than Emilio Estevez, and I don't know how believable that a man that much older would have hung out with a younger person and all that. Yeah, well, it, it, I, I, I I can geek you out of this stuff all day long. The guy, Georgia, the, go uh, for it. Well, why not? It's not like anyone's calling or anything. <laughs> so, so anyway, the guy that they go out for revenge for, mm-hmm. the guy that took them all in, uh, John Tunstall. He's always portrayed in the movies as this older guy, an older character. He was only just a few years, in actuality, in real life, he was only just a few years older than Billy the Kid and these other guys. They would have been like 21, if that, and he was more like 24 mm. or something like that. But, oh, yeah, he's yeah. Never, but they never show Say him that. As, as that in movies. He's always played by a much older gentleman. Okay. I was just find that interesting when you find out the real deal on things. That doesn't quite match up with the way it's always portrayed in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, well, yeah, I find that interesting. It's yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the choices like Hollywood decides to make to make mm-hmm. the movie more interesting. Like sometimes, like it's like a good creative choice, right? And then sometimes it's just like a weird creative choice. Like, <laughs> hey, we're gonna cast a lady for this part, <laughs> and it's like it's like okay, yeah, I'm I'm down for it. All but right, I think see. we have a call. Yes, we do. Let's see who it is. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, man. Good morning. How are you, how are you how doing, are you? sir? Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You know... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Lord. I know. You, know you guys didn't mention that um, Dr. Ruth died. Thank you. That was another one mm. I'd forgotten about. You're yes. right. Oh Ruth Westheimer, <laughs> I believe, was her name. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I picked up a lot of tips from her. I bet you did. Yep. So. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was her and Julia Childs as a kid. You had her for the relations part, and you had the other one telling you how to cook something. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got oh, chicken my. here. We're going to bake the chicken, and then we're going to do this. I'm going to say Dan Aykroyd oh, yeah. did a spoof on her on SNL back in the day, and he, was cut, he ended up cutting his, slicing his fingers off, and he was... Bleeding profusely. Was it he, part of the bit? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He, he was That's making fun of it. Yeah, he was yeah. like, "Oh, oh, look what we've done! Oh, oh, Dawn. You know that sort of stuff. That's funny. <laughs> That's yeah. Funny. Uh, That's what I liked about her. She could she would air her sometimes, and it would just um. You know, to be I hate to say this, but I didn't realize the lady was still living. <laughs> Only because now you is she still? No, no, no. I oh, met bef- before. Yeah, I, I, when I heard that she had passed, I was like. Well, you don't. You had, I hadn't seen or heard from her in years. I mean, well, it's sort of like uh, Richard Simmons. I get you know some of these people just drop out of you know public view, and you you don't know if they're still around or not. Yeah, it seemed like after her body was a little showing age, she had shows to where she was like a, a standing beside the chef, like a guest chef, and she would hold something or measure something, and yeah. Make a fun comment, but, uh, but yeah, thank yeah, you for bringing man. up her because I'd, I'd forgotten about that one. So we lost a lot of people here recently. Yeah. We sure did, yeah. That were in the public eye at sure. some point in time. Shelley Duvall, oh, yeah. that one was a weird one. Shelley Duvall, yeah, she was in a couple of movies and then like her life just went downhill. Like, did, did you see um, 
do you see photos of her during like 2020? No. Or 2019? She's looking like really, really like really well, she unfortunate. Was the, well, she was older. She right? kind of like I think she stopped acting. Yeah, no, she was older too. But well, like, they usually do once they pass a certain yeah age. They don't they don't get calls as as, as you know like they were yeah. in their prime. I think obviously. I think she just like became a recluse and um, well, was like t- totally out of the scene. And I don't, yeah, I don't that know. tends to happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, the only thing I've seen her in was Popeye and uh, The Shining. Yeah. I've never, I, you know, I know she's been in other films, but go ahead, sir. What were you going to say? Was, was she related to Robert then? Duvall? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. That's, that's a good question. I think Noah's no, no, no trying yeah. to uh, fact check it. Mm-hmm. See. Oh, really? He's going he's gonna mm-hmm. to see. Could just be one of those things where they had the same last name, but I don't know. That's a good question, though. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, no, no, no relation. Not, not related. Okay, I had never heard that they were, but that doesn't mean anything. No. Um, are you guys involved in the um, Reader's Choice? Um, you mean those books that they put out? No, it's the uh, something the papers hold every year, and you are entered as a. I guess I have a thousand entries or something. You know. No, in I'm in the uh, Herald. Not, not to my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, I have seen. No, that Noah's before. looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure if we are in there or not. So. I doubt it, but I don't know. I didn't know. Yeah, I was curious what you, if you were what you guys might enter as. I didn't know if they had best. Um, well, it's not too late. It doesn't end till. Or yeah. When does it end? Thirty first. Thirty first. Yeah. Okay. So we can technically huh. make something happen there. Me and John. Noah will make do, something that's happen. That's right. That's right. If anything gets happens, yeah. it's going to be Noah. Okay, John. Okay. Huh. <laughs> and you know, I that, that's I'm glad you mentioned that because um, I was checking out your website. I was uh. I don't know why I was checking it out. But I noticed that Noah was a, um, what would you call him, a closet comedian? <laughs> but unch. That's funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I perform okay. at open mics. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of, I, I took a little bit of a, you know, a pause from it, but uh, I have been going back and... Yeah, I'm not like don't don't ask me to do a joke because I can't do that. But if if okay, I was I yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, well I I do have one joke that is uh, you know if you want if you huh. wanted to hear it's the it. only one he tells. Uh, come on, John, it's hey. a very quick act. It's it's, it's, it's that's <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like a thirty second comedian. I go up there I'm and one I'm like, joke Noah. That's right. That's actually a funny. <laughs> that's actually a really funny <laughs> idea <laughs> for a comedian. John. Yeah, oh. one joke. Oh my Thank God. you, John. You're Thank welcome. you. But no, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. I, I do do stand up. I, I actually okay. uh, hosted the um, the co host of the Press Club uh, comedy open mic with C J Oswalt. I don't know if you knew that or not, but um, not that, not that. What are you dropping names like that for? <laughs> 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 Can I have- he got so quiet. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> He's got a follow up question. Yeah, the, I don't know if the um, the phones were off, but I could just barely hear you guys or. Or the mic was down, but um, I could be stepping away from the mic. I don't know. I thought, yeah, I was waiting for the big joke, but uh, um, is it, so the the press club is the open mic, or is it the um, uh, what's the cafe? Oh, Uptown and, Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So and then yeah. is is the um, people that do the jokes, or is it um, are they okay? I mean, could I write down a few things and uh, spew? Yeah. So let me. Let, yeah. No, you can spew. You can spew all over the stage if you want, caller. Um, oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's good. Um, I. I think so. As far as the open mics, Uptown isn't doing a open mic right now. Um, they're talking about starting one back up again uh, soon. But um, yeah, um, Press Club does have a open mic. And um, last month they had a, a comedy open mic. Um, and it went, it went okay. Uh, we had a couple of comedians um, booked for the show. One was a Richmond comic. Another one, I believe he was from Texas. And it, it was a good show, you know. And we also encouraged people uh-huh. signing up. Um, and 
the thing about like living in a small town like this is like everybody kind of knows everybody from you know like everybody has a mutual yeah. friend and so people are nervous and i get it don't get me wrong i get it but um i i think uh i don't know i anytime i see somebody sign up who's just like in the crowd uh i don't know it's it's a great feeling because you're like yeah like i'm rooting for that person you know um okay in the, the um yeah, I, I want to say the, the Richmond comedian, uh, Taylor O'Sullivan, very funny guy. And then also the other, I think his name was Stephen O'Maze, the guy from uh, Texas. He was also pretty good. But, um, yeah, no, I, I, the comedy is, like, all right. It's it's the crowd uh, that, you know, I don't know. I thought everybody was funny. Um, but, I don't know, the crowd really wasn't um, uh, soaking it in, I don't think, I, or, like, all, all the way. I think they were kind of just, like, hanging out. Um, and so it's always hard because like at a comedy club, uh, the people who are there, they're just paying attention to the comedian. But since it's at like a uh, yeah. restaurant, people are drinking, people are playing pool. It's like, you know, not you pull, pull them and off to the side. Exactly. Hustling people the hustler, the you know, yeah. and it's like n- huh. nobody's really, um, nobody's super invested into the person on stage, which is fine. But um, it is just something that comes with the territory. But the, yeah. to answer your question, you can sign up. Um, I think it's every other Wednesday uh, this is the open mic. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, is it – can you be a little, I guess, raunchy or use Yes, absolutely. Words yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. But you, it's not – you can't offend people by, by racial slurs and, and oh, well, I mean, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I always say this. I always say you can say whatever you want, but that doesn't stop everybody else from making fun of you and also okay. <laughs> hating you. So, so don't so worry say about you're doing your Andrew Dice yeah. Clay impersonation. Hey, little boy blew in a cigarette, you know. <laughs> little Miss Muffin. Oh. <laughs> Good one, John. Thank you. Yeah. I'm here all week. Huh, okay. Yeah, do you, do you know, have any other uh, questions about that or anything? No, no, that's that's that's, that's about it. Uh, do you think yeah. you might sign up for it? I, I'd love to see you out there. Um, if I, uh, if it seems like it's like a um, um, professional and amateur, I'm probably not. It's, it's, it's all it, amateur. It's an amateur hour. Yeah. It's an amateur hour. Don't get me okay. wrong. It's an amateur okay. hour. Go up there. It's okay to bomb. I think bombing like makes you feel more alive somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. But, but when you're on stage and nobody is laughing, and you like tell like three jokes, and like just like it's not even like they're not even smiling, but it's just faces of concern looking back at you. There's something really uh, surreal about that moment, and it's like a death. It's like a part of yourself is dying. Right then and there, it's it's, huh. it's really wild. <laughs> I've experienced it a few times uh, in my life. But you, but you can't get that feeling anywhere else. No, no, it's it's, it's, a, it's a thrilling. It's it's, it's, it's terrible, yeah. but it's amazing at the same time. It feels really great um, when you make people laugh. But like, if if you have a good set and you make a bunch of people laugh, it's fun, and and you're having fun. Uh, but that's it. And like when you bomb, it's like you take away a lot from like an experience like that because it's almost it's almost like a traumatic event a little bit. Um, you're up there and just people are just staring at you and just like <laughs> it's crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> thing. Then is it kind of like um, just like karaoke to where like the really crappy ones are the ones that um, most fun, not the ones that sound like the artists. That's just another. Because you have to have the crappy ones. That's the one. That's the ones you can make fun of. And- uh, that's karaoke. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's 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 a mixed it's a mixed bag huh. of people and from okay. different backgrounds, different experiences. Yeah, so I'll have to look into that. Heck, record my thoughts. Yeah. But yeah. I will. Why? Well, thank you for that information. Of course, I tried getting John to go. Um, he refused. However, well, John's tired by the end of the day, and he, he's not a young man anymore. And last thing I want to do is stay up all night. And huh. you know, <laughs> my my reaction mm. exactly. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah. Uh, I explain that. All right, there you go. Mm, all right, man. All right. Well, have a good one. Thanks for calling well, in. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. All righty. Take care. Goodbye. Bye.
All right. Very, very. Trying to get someone. Yeah. Finagled. I'm into hustling. Your... I'm hustling here, yeah. John. Yeah. I, I, look, I'm working, but I'm working. If you know what I mean. Just kidding. Who are you working for? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Just try to get some people. I don't know. It's fun. I mean, like. Brigitte Nelson's got a birthday Let me ask today. You, She's this, 61 years old. Hey, John, you were telling me you used to you used to like throw shows, like music shows, like concerts. Not like a concert, but like you and your band would get together and like jam yeah, we got out. in front of people and played music. And yeah, performed in like front an of open people. mic. No, was, kind of. Well, no, it wasn't like we just were sitting in the crowd and picked up instruments in the corner and, okay. took, and took off. No, uh, so it was like it was a, legit, a planned. Event. It was like a show. Yeah. Did you sell tickets? You paid to get in. Whoa. Did you get a portion of the money? If there was enough there to bandy <laughs> about. Ever, hey, we got five cents and a Band-Aid. Who wants <laughs> like, I've had yeah. some that have paid real good and some not so good. Yeah. Wow. How, how are those experiences? Because I always wondered, like, what is it like to perform Well, anything that's live, people? anything can happen. And yeah. We've had some highs. We've had some lows. Um, what, what, give me a like one of the lowest <clears throat> lows. Like the guitar wasn't plugged in, or just well, like that, the speakers that, died. Sometimes that happens. Um, one time we uh, had this thing where song wasn't going quite right, mm. and we couldn't get the finish just right. And um, I looked back and asked the person, "Let's do that again." <laughs> and again, it didn't happen quite mm. right. Yeah. And once again, One I looked back and said, no, let's <clears throat> do that again. And people thought in the crowd that I was trying to be funny. And there was laughter. Mm -hmm. And people were thinking it was a oh, joke. you were doing a shtick. Yeah, people thought I was. Yeah, yeah. But I was truly mad. <laughs> or ticked off. Ding. And so, um, anyway, yeah, I think I made it happen three more, three times total. Yeah, Wow. And somebody was just having an off night. And that is funny, yeah. though. Yeah, well, was that really a d the darkest moment? The though? funny thing is, the the counter uh, acting uh, talking of my band as it's happening that I found out about after because mm. at the time I was isolated up front. I wasn't really paying attention to what was being said, and I remember being told after the fact, "Is John playing around? No, I, no, I think John's serious." <laughs> John's not doing well. He's telling me to play this song over and over again. Well, the end, anyway. Yeah. Well, it was one of those things where it had gotten booked by that person, and yet they weren't... Giving it their yeah. all. and yeah. I thought to myself, okay. Have you ever, uh, like, have you ever not been paid for a gig? Um, like, you were <laughs> going to get paid, and then they were like, nah. It, prob it probably happened or, or way early on. Like, the club was owner was like, you guys... You guys made people leave. I'm not paying you. Oh, uh, it's it depends on. Did what you ever have contracts? Like, was there any no, sort of like agreement? Not to my. Were idea. you guys like punk rock? No, you know, we definitely were punk rock. Did you guys like wear leather jackets and? <clears throat> no. Nah. Okay. Maybe when I was younger, I kind of went a little silly with the, the outfit, but I mean, okay. that that would have been like 26 at the time. I was still fairly young. Yeah. So. A young man in his prime. I was a young man in my yeah. prime. 